Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for a vintage cubicles. Hey what, Michael? You've got better barbecue sauce, too, for your nugs. I actually like McDonald's barbecue sauce. So do I, but I think this is a little better. Try them out. I just keep them because, like, if they give me, like, here's one barbecue for your 20 nugs, I'll be like, you got some All more. right, now I got backups. Look at this. This is this is for my last 3-0. With a stipulation, no less. What are we opening here? I don't know where my thing is. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh, God. Return to the game. Oh, thank goodness. I was so lost. We doing a stip? We have... Uh, let's do this mic f four ten four five nine. Uh, every card in your deck has to be from a different set, excluding basics. But here's the catch: you could have two allied fetches because one could be from onslaught, one could be from cons, right? Just because it says like this one is onslaught, and like just because polluted delta is also from onslaught, doesn't mean you have to take. Doesn't mean you can't have them both. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, same for enemy fetches, Zendikar and M15, original duels. Um, but how would it work with original duels? Oh, because they're like in revised. Because one is in alpha, one is in beta. <laughs> one is in yeah, okay. So the point was duels. to give us a lot of flexibility, but also to be like aware of what we're taking here. Okay. Which I think I'm just gonna take Bloodstained Mire. Um, yeah, there's nothing. This, this pack is not great. great. Yeah. Oh, that leaves us for both of these bad boys. Dak Faden was in Conspiracy, wasn't he originally? Yeah, I want to say yes. Original duels. Shocks, etc. Also, shocks haven't appeared in like a bunch of sets, so like. Yeah, shocks have been reprinted quite a bit. I think Dak Faden's probably stronger than Nicobolus and a little more easier to cast. A little more. It's a lot. It's a lot easier to cast. <laughs> a little more. This is five colors. doesn't even manas. have any generic mana. You're right. Yeah, I'm just taking Dackles McFadens. Mm -hmm. Mustang Sally. Every card in your final deck has to be from a different set, excluding bases. You could have two different allied fetches, as, as one could be from uh, Onslaught, one could be from Cons. I'm trying to write this step correctly. Same for enemy fetches, original duels, shocks, etc. Um. <coughs> Let me open Discordals. Oh, I see. Okay, so I don't know what I don't even like. I don't even think there's like Simic Signet maybe? Yeah, that or Birds, I think. I mean, do we want like Birds is I don't even know. Signet doesn't technically commit us to green though. Well this is a this was in Modern Masters, right? <clears throat> yeah. Take the Signet. I don't know what to take there, so. We could be Teamer. Take the Taiga. Can I take the Bitter Blossom be Grixis? I kind of like Taiga here. Gives us a nice little green splash. We can get it with Bloodstained Mire. Okay. Back rat. <laughs> Michael B had a back rat. He had to go to the doctor the other day to get his back rat removed. Gross. Okay. Okay, hold on. Still trying to write. What are we picking here? Ancient Grudge? Repeal? We can take Wheel and hope to get an R set. It's not terrible, actually. But that only goes in like that deck, though. So. I'm going to take Repeal. Flexible. <clears throat> I feel like Repeal is a little bit safer. So this is Dissension. This is Guild Pact. I wish they said what set they were in. Oh, Primeval Titan. That's just good, right? Mm. Really? With Taiga and Signet? We're not going to be Teamer? Come on, man. Don't be stupid. There's nothing better in this pack than a prime time. 
Are you being for real? I can't tell if you're trolling. Are you trolling? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Look, now you get a Raging Ravine, which is Zendikar. I don't think we've had a Zendikar yet. Or a Zealous Conscripts, actually. I like a Conscripts. We're also in the, the good colors. Keep in mind, if you were also to take Raging Ravine, it's awkward because of Fetchlands. Why is that awkward? Because the... the but Fetchlands have been in other sets. So I'll take this so. Avacyn Restored card, because I think it's n like probably not going to be a hiccup. Ooh. Scars of Mirrodin, huh? Or... I like Fire Ice better. We yeah. already have a two red green lands essentially. Okay. Um. Thrag what test. Are we, what are we trying them? <sighs> Shrine doesn't just. That don't impress me much. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. probably not the deck for Got it. Got the max, but do you have the max bees? Okay, hold on. Uh, other cards. If even same printing in the cube. If one appears in a different set, you can count it. Let's see. I think Thrag Tusk is right, right? It's fine. Okay, you take a Thrag Tusk, right? Uh, if you've been printing in the same cube, if one appears in a different set, you can count it. I feel this gives plenty of freedom as you can pick multiples that appear in one set, but it's the final deck that matters. Thus, it limits you without crippling every decision. Uh, it goes without saying. Oh, so we can take something from a different set, but we just have to decide on what to play in the final. No, I don't. I don't. I think. No. Right? No. Every card in your final deck has to be from a different set, excluding bases. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's what I've said. I'm going to take Nickel Bolas. None of these other cards are any good. Maybe we could just cast it off of like a Manamorphose. Do we have to count the cards that we put in our sideboard and not really playing? Well, no, because like... I'm just asking. That I don't know, actually. Isn't Tusk the same as Primetime? No, they're different M's. No, that's M15. That's M11. Chain Lightning is pretty old school. What is that? What set is Chain Lightning in, guys? Thunder uh, My Hellkite. Judgment, I M13. Think. Judgment? Oh, M13 as well. But Thunder My Hellkite's also definitely in a different set. Right? I don't know. <clears throat> I gotta keep up Scryfall. You can take cards from the same set, just final deck is deciding which goes into the deck. Thunderball was in Iconic Masters as well. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. I'll take Iona. Oh, well, you, you can actually stay. I don't know why I pulled you out. Yep, that's fine. <coughs> oh, so we can take whatever and then just make sure that only one of those cards is in the final list, is what you're saying. Okay. That's a little easier, actually. I like Finhorn Elves here? Thought meant. This is a terrible first. This is a terrible pack. Not if we get a Tinker. And other artifacts. <laughs> I have one Simic Signet. <clears throat> but also, he's Zendikar, right? Who? No, he's Phyrexian, whatever, right? Yeah, this dude's... What are you... What? It's got Infect, man. That guy's new Phyrexia. Yeah, I guess it's Elves. I, I think it's just it's Elves. Not exciting, but... Atarka's fine. Yeah, but that might come back. No, we're not black, so gravy doesn't matter. Old watery gravy. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's elves. I don't know what else we'd take. Unless you just want to try to get lucky and get a through the breach or something. Elves are just good, though. Okay, cool. Thanks. Preach. Much obliged. Thanks for the on-color mocks, nerd. Oh, all right. That's cool. Uh, we have a Zealous Conscripts. Oh, we do. Yeah, what yeah, are okay. we? What are you okay. thinking? I, I wasn't sure. Is that Rise of Zendikar? I don't think we have another Rise of Zendikar card in here. Can we sort by set? <laughs> that would be very Oh, helpful. you literally can, but it's never been enabled on this client, so. Wait, really? You can probably do it in your collection. You probably just can't do it like when you're doing this. Ooh, Fiery Confluence. That's from, like, Commander or something? This is from a Conspiracy set, I believe. No, it is it is Commander. Yeah, you're right. It is a Commander set. Yeah, because it's the same thing as Mystical Confluence. That's not how you spell that. F-L-U-E-N-C. Are you going to... There you go. 
It is Commander 2015. I mean, it was definitely the pick. Like, it's so good. Glenelanger is fine, but Fiery Confluence is bonkers. Oh, I like Fallen Shinobi a lot. Yeah, but colors. I mean, we have Bloodstained Wire, Mike. What more do you want? <laughs> I mean, what's the what's the alternative? Crimson Command, which is triple blue. The alternative is Crassus isn't bad. Yeah, Crassus is pretty good. God, I just think Fallen Shinobi wins games. And it yeah, shouldn't be too it... hard to like splash a black source. What if the water grave comes back, man? There's no way. We'll find out. Oh my god. We'll find out. <coughs> I like Mendelian Click. I don't think we have any other Morning Tard cards, right? Morning Tard? Yeah. We don't got no Mernin Turd cards. No. Take the high tide? Not in this deck, buddy. Kiki Jiki. Yeah, why not? And there ain't no Champions of Kamigawa cards in this in this bad boy. It's probably the only one, is my guess. Oh, man. Just, you're being too greedy, man. <coughs> what if? To be fair, though, you can probably always to pick on it because there's nothing really in this pack. But Bloodbird Elf, though, is pretty good. Actually, Bloodbird Elf is pretty good, especially in our deck because we don't really have anything that's like really bad for it. Oh, God. Grave. What if we took out these green cards and just added these black cards, though? We get Nicol Bolas, and we get then, and we get Scarab God? But we lose Prime Titan. Okay, but but hear me out. Also, we have already taken green fixing lands. We took one. Right, but it's also good with Bloodstain there. <sighs> Whatever, man. I don't even like you. <laughs> eh, I'll just take Chain Lightning. I like Fauna Shaman better than Chain Lightning. Or Lightning Strike, or whatever. Fauna Shaman, they're both M11, but I'm pretty sure Fauna Shaman was in another set. Maybe she never was. She was in Ultimate Masters. Alright, I like it. <coughs> I actually don't like Faithless Looting at all, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate it. I don't know why we're playing combo deck, it seems great. Isn't Fauna Shaman even better? You get like Kiki Jiki or Zealous Conscripts. Oh, that's a good argument. Instead of like randomly getting one, I'd rather just choose <clears throat> it. I like Huntmaster. I also like Glorbringer a lot. I think I like Glorbringer over Hel Thunder by Hellkite. But. Uh, yeah, generally Glorbringer's better. Do we have another Avacyn card? No, because we were looking at the. <coughs> Why not both? I don't know. It's a lot of five drops. I guess that guy's more of a four drop. Just hammer him. Hammer him? Yeah. Five drop, five drop, <laughs> die. Wow. Uh, I mean, you attack for five, like then you attack for nine. Here. They're basically oh, just dead. Oh, Garrick? We're already splashing the black, right? <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, to a, li a little bit. There ain't no Throne of Eldraine card in this in this pack. Oh, Smuggler. Looter Scooter. You like when I call it the Looter Scooter? No. No. Oh, no. I did not like. And that. Okay, now we need some fixing lands in this last fixing pack. It's pretty good. Badlands. Badlands seems good. It's not too late to be a channel deck. Are you? Did you say that or did someone in the chat say that? No, that's what I said. Uh, what are we channeling into? We've passed Ulamog already. We've passed Blightsteel. Yeah, but what if Big Mama Emrakul's in this pack? I think it's Badlands. That's the safer pick. I, I, I know. That's why I took it. See? Idiot. What? What? It's a joke because there's nothing in it. Oh, I was like, wait, what? <clears throat> what am I missing? And you were like, there I think we should take credit. If, I think triple green is pretty easy for us, right? I don't think we don't have enough creatures. We have seven creatures in our deck. It was a joke anyway because we're never Oh my casting god, a, fucking stop. We're never dude. casting a triple green card. Jesus. Can you say one serious thing? I think it's Golgari's no, signature. No, never. I would never do that. Because this is from Dissension and this is from <coughs> Ravnica. So. Or Muldrifter, but I don't think Muldrifter. Eureka is good. Not in our deck. Eureka's Castle. What if Foothills are Overgrown Tomb? What if Foothills, right? Yeah, Foothills is better. And now we have one. Let's look up Foothills. I want to see what sets they're in. Uh, one from Cons, one from Onslaught. Okay, those are the two sets. <coughs> Mere Battle Sir seems fine, actually. <laughs> oh, God. He's done. <laughs> He's done. Trigon Predator is also okay. 
This deck is very interesting. I don't think we're looting and scooting because of the seven creatures. Rob does looting want the savannah. Looting and scooting is not the way. What does Michael B have to say? The I think it's I think it's just me rattle sphere to be honest with you. Uh, sure. We already have we already have fauna shaman. I don't know if we want survival too. Well, survival's I, better. It's but... nice to have a top end. Let me see your top end, Michael. <laughs> what marsh flats? What do you get? Badlands? That's it. All right. I think quagmire could be fine. It's okay. I mean, let's just play fallen shinobi and Garrick. I think it's correct. <clears throat> Hundred percent taking leave old here. Hundred percent. I hope you're joking. Why? Don't you should ever take Blooming Marsh or the Elves? No. I want leave old. is gonna be really hard to cast. No, it ain't. We got Hissing Quagmire, Badlands, Wooded Foothills, Bloodstained Mire, and Golgari Signet. Uh, okay. What's wrong with you, man? So actually, Dak Faden was in he was in eternal masters okay and conspiracy leovold was in ultimate masters and conspiracy take the crown so even if we're just going by conspiracies they were in different sets preordain seems good was preordain take over the throat over preordain you don't have like any hard removal yet besides Gurk. commander 2015 this was in that's interesting I guess we are playing Primeval Titan. And Finhorn Elves, I guess. <sighs> Alright, we'll take I'll take go for the throw for you, Michael. To make Michael happy. <clears throat> oh, Dryad seems great here. Yeah, extra lands, fix our man. Love all things. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse seems good too. <clears throat> and we don't have any shards of Alara cards, I don't think. We can also take blood, Progenitus. Blood rate off. You like Progenitus? No. No, but this is oh shit, we do. Yeah, you're right. Do we have any token makers? No, we don't have any token makers. No token makers. No token makers. Do What's like wrong with you? Do you like when I do that? No. No, it's too bad. I wish you would stop it. Oh, but Bloodbraid could be in other sets, actually. That's a good point. I forgot about that. What is Bloodbraid Elf in? It was in... It was an Eternal Master. It's and Commander 2016. All right. All right. I don't think any of these picks matter that much. I'll take Shieldred. I'm not taking Eureka. We don't have a Eureka deck. Lightning Bolt. Or Goblin Rabble Master. Wow. You're... I'm not going to count promos, though. I only want actual sets that were released as sets. I think we have too many three drops. I think we want Lightning Bolt more. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, the survival came back? That's pretty wild. I don't even think Light of the Sage is that bad. I don't think we're playing any of it. Is the Stip wrong? What does that mean? Did you not update the Stip? Oh, you didn't update the Stip. Oh, yes. The Stip is 100% wrong because I'm an actual moron. It's a real long one, though. I'll take this guy. I'll take Abbott. Mike's a big fan of Abbott, so. <laughs> I wish we had more fixing lands, but. We got Primeval Titan. All of our lands are playable, too, which is except for this Maze of Ith. Get out of here. Every card in your final deck has to be from a different set, excluding basics. You could have two allied fetches, as one could be from Onslaught, one could be from Cons. So just because the, the, the cards in the cube are from the same set, as long as the card itself is from a different set, it should be fine. That's what that's what the stipulation is, right? So now we're going to have the uh, the battle of going over them. No, we're going to have the battle of trying to cast our spells. <laughs> no, we're not. This deck is bonkers, man. You're out of control, dude. Our fixing is pretty bad. I mean, I've seen worse fixing, but... <clears throat> but you'll never see better fixing. Got him. False. Dang it. So you need one cut? 
Yeah. Yeah, repeal's meh. Repeal is kind of meh. Do we want the double blue Vendillion click, though? That's a good point. Because okay. now blue is just a light splash. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 what about you? What did you go for? 155? God, these are so low. You're selling or buying? I was trying to bid. Huh. But like, <clears throat> they weren't like high. I was just like, I'll take a look and see what they go for. All right. <sighs> okay. So, I'm going to actually make a little list here. That's for an article I'm writing this week. What are you making a list for? Uh, I want to I wanna write down the sets. Dissension, D-I-S-S-E-N... S I O N. That's I, just, I don't even know how to spell dissension. D I S S E N T I O N. Dissension. That doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna like, I'll keep it anyway. What is this? Scars of Mirrodin. <coughs> Scars. Thero. Theronavel Drain. Primeval Titan is. Multiple M's. M eleven. <coughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna do dissension. Scars. Throne. Is it is it so many S's? Three S's in the word? That just seems wrong. This is champions, I believe. Or betrayers. I think it's champions. It's the only Kamigawa card. It does yeah, it does. I don't think it's gonna matter. This is <clears throat> Almond Kit. Uh this guy is Avison Restored. You are in Modern Horizons. You are only in Modern Horizons. Bloodbraid Elf is in Alar Reborn. But also in... Was it Ultimate Masters, I said? Commander 2016. Eternal Masters. We'll say Eternal Masters. Uh, Splinter Twin is in what? Rise of the Eldrazi? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so we'll say Rise. Fiery Confluence was in Commander 2015. Uh, Leovold was in Conspiracy. Thank you. Oh, D. Lee Coker with the five gifted subs. And I heard you gave Mike some good foot advice, which sounds very Thank strange <laughs> for those who don't know what that means. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse. Thank you. Oh, that was in Ultimate Masters. So. So this is an Eternal Masters. This was an Ultimate Masters. So we're, we're doing good so far. Dak was in Conspiracy Take the Crown. Thank you. Dealey Coker, thank you so much for the resubs. For the gifted subs, my dude. Really appreciate you. Uh, this is from Theros Beyond. Th Theros Beyond. Uh, this is from what? Apocalypse? Is this Apocalypse? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> this is from... That's actually from Dissension. Repeal is from Guild Pact. No one... Did anyone say that? No. No. This is from Ravnica. Ravnica OG. Uh, Fauna Shaman is M11. So now I have to find... A, a different Fauna Shaman. Oh, Fauna Shaman was in... Ultimate Masters, was it? So we can't... Oh, we gotta... See, now we're getting tricky. What's Primeval Time? Primeval Time was in 12, 2012, right? It was in two of the M's. Oh, it was in 2020. So let's do 20 or 2012 rather. So this will be M11. This will be 2012 or M12 rather. Is this Mirrodin Besieged? I think so. Because <clears throat> the new Phyrexia is the one with the Phyrexian symbol. Findhorn Elves is Ice Age. Uh, This is M10. Or Alpha. <laughs> Sure. No, no, that's Land of Worlds. Oh, this you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Chain Lightning was or revised or whatever. No, Chain Lightning was one of the Judgment sets. Legends? Yeah, I think it was something like that. Yeah, it was an old school Legends card. <sighs> okay, so and we just got Mox. Which Mox we can do Alpha. Alpha. Uh, we have Wooded Foothills and Bloodstained Mire. So that's like we'll say uh, Cons and. Onslaught. Mm -hmm. uh, Taiga, we'll say... Beta. Beta. 
Badlands will say revised. Mm -hmm. Hissing Quagmire is what's his Eldrazi Reborn. <laughs> battle for Zendikar? No. I don't know. It might be Battle. I thought Battle was the first set and Hissing Quagmire was the second. Oath of the Gatewatch. Okay. Uh, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yep. This is all different 29 sets. And uh, then we're basics. Yeah, that actually worked out well. Good gravy. It's a lot of colors now. So put that over there a little bit. Okay. You shouldn't have to use the graph, man. No way, man. I'll never do it. All right, so blue, we have four, <clears throat> five. Four. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That seems fine. Red, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems good. Green, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably nine there too, because we have a lot of green. We have Finhorn Elves. All right, let's and do it. How blue do we have? Only four. Okay. Three islands and a signet, but we only have like one, two, three, four blue cards. This can, you know. This can fuck off. I wonder if we want light up the stage instead of repeal. You have to get in with a creature for it to be good, though, right? I mean, we have Chain Lightning and Lightning Bolt to shoot them with. And also Fire Ice. Oh, yeah. you just any damage, right? Yeah. I actually kind of like that. No, maybe not, though. Because this doesn't draw you the cards. If this drew you the cards, I would be on board. I don't like that it doesn't draw you the cards. It feels very flexible. With only 11 creatures, I, I, I'm not going to... I don't want to play um, <clears throat> Smuggler's Copter. Especially when, like... Uh, especially when six of the creatures cost five or more. Not playing click? No, it's too hard on our mana base. No, double blue is impossible. That's never going to happen. Um, yeah, so we only have five creatures that cost less than five mana. Also, Dryad is the best card in our deck. Dryad's amazing. All right, we did it. Seems okay with draw. I don't want a card in my deck that's only good if I draw one other card in my deck. I mean, both Kiki Jiki and Zealous Contrast to swiping a combo are also individually good. Whereas, like, I, the point is I can cast both of those. I can't cast a Vendillion Click uh, without a Dryad. <laughs> uh, Leovold is definitely not harder to cast, no. Cards that cost multiple different colors are significantly easier, statistically, to cast than cards that are double of any one color. It does depend on your mana base, but... Looks like we're playing Jund. <clears throat> Maybe you are. No, I hate Jund. Because it's boring. You are. Oh, you could have waited. Could have waited? Yeah. What do you mean? Maybe they go for a spell and then you get a Bolden. Yeah, but I'd rather use this now when they don't have free mana. Because I don't want them to shoot it back at us, you know. Oh, yeah, there's that problem. Oh, nothing, nothing to play, huh? Leave old. Oh, Signet's good. Michael B lives in the trash can every day. Huh. That makes Kiki Jiki real easy to cast. Don't forget to play your second land. Oh, no, I did forget. I'm really bad at this game. Oh, wow, they're just going to two for one themselves? Okay. God, I always forget that he does that. It's really good by itself. I think it's good just making all your lands different types, but... I mean, we don't have anything to really take advantage of it anyway, so... Bold them. Goodbye, little uh -huh. hell rider. <clears throat> hey, little troublemaker. You know what that's from? No, you don't. 
Let me guess. It's not Jurassic Park, man. <laughs> no, it's obviously Django. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm impressed, mate. No, that's Well, I've only seen it like three times. So. Oh, wow, that's really hard to deal with. Yeah, it's not good. I don't like it. I probably kill the guide. <sighs> well, we can't kill the other. Oh, Civic Signet. That's good. This is a car that's like, well, you're going to take five more. Well, Hazard's pretty good. <clears throat> Shame that Leavold's banned commander. False. Yeah, Leavold's a miserable card to be commandering with. Good grief. He is way too good, even in casual. You're a filthy casual. It's true. I know. Also, there's like no real downside to playing a Leavold. At worst, he just draws you a card and they use a removal on it. They had their own light at the stage. Something good. <clears throat> That's not it's it. It's a blocker. <clears throat> we block here. We take three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. I'm going to go to the next game. But what if... Yeah. You play elves, you play Kijiki Jiki. We don't well, have triple red. Yeah, that's true. But now you do. <laughs> sure, you're right. 16 lands and one mox. I feel like we shouldn't have like flooded that. Oh, Thrag Tusk is in sideboard? Oh, wow, that's not... Funny that Leo was originally made for Tiny Leaders. Tiny Leaders wasn't a real format. He wasn't designed to be... Like, he was good in it and great, but like... It yeah, I definitely don't think Leovold was made for Tiny Leaders. Tiny Leaders was not a wizard-sanctioned format. I don't think they were designing cards for Tiny Leaders. Also, they usually design two years ahead, so there's no way. Take out Battle Ball. Any light, more life gain on the sideboard? No. Vampire Collective Brutality. God, man. <clears throat> Hazard is such a dumb dude. Michael B. I think Hazard is like a fox, not a dude. Yikes. I'll keep it. I'll put Kajiki Jiki back. <clears throat> Wow, you're saying they had two years to figure out Companion was a mistake and they still missed it? No, they don't. It didn't. No, no, that's not correct either. They're just too, they're always designing things two years ahead of what's going on right now. Well, not that it takes them two years to design a set. Come on, land off the top. <clears throat> well, that that's close, I guess. Not that there's any excuse for why Companions are. are Insanely over. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, look, it's a little steamy boy. Oh, boy. Now we don't draw enough lands. I'll go play with my doggos instead. D Lee Cooker, have a good, have a, or, uh, yeah, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the gifted subs, man. Tell those doggos I said hi. Give them lots of pets for me. Give them a little smooch. Yeah, give him a smooch for Michael. No, there's a difference between power creep and just actually insanely busted cards. Yeah, it's not power creep. I don't think the cards were like designed to be supremely powerful. It's not that's the cards aren't overpowered for what they are. It's just a matter of like it's just the companion ability itself is broken. Right. It's yeah, it's not like <clears throat> one card is doing a thing that's super broken. Like if you put if if you, if you couldn't have Luris in your sideboard as an eighth card, no one's going to be playing it in their main decks in standard. Like, it's just not a thing.
Has anyone gotten to play with companions in Commander yet? Can I can't because quarantine. Surprisingly, they're not all that great in Commander. Because a lot of them you can't use. Lutri's banned. Lurus only works with two commanders because your commander has to be two and CMC as well. Uh, the five color guy, the red green guy, only works if you have no double generic or double double manas, which Nubble is double. awkward. Give me that double <clears throat> double. Uh, you can't use the Justice guy, or not the Justice guy, you can't use the blue white one because you can't make your car, your deck more than 100 cards. That's not legal in Commander, so. You could probably play the cat deck one, yeah, if you want to play cat travel. It would definitely fit in there. Why didn't they lightning strike our face, make this a 4 4, and then they would kill this? Oh boy. It doesn't matter. They're playing red. They don't have to be right. <laughs> they don't have to play correctly. Oh, buttery biscuits. Well, that's unfortunate. This guy is really the glue. I, I feel like our deck is probably pretty good against the non red deck. I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to commander. Because I really enjoy the format. <laughs> Doubt it. Wow. Michael likes tiny leaders. This is four eight nine. Tiny leaders three. is a joke. You're a joke. Boom 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 boom. I'm gonna get them. They're gonna be like, "Nah, kill that thing." I'm gonna be like, "Okay." What? When did you get in Commander, Mike? So I've actually been complaining Commander. Complaining? Way, <clears throat> I've actually been playing Commander way before I was called Commander. Wow, that sounds like the most um, hipster thing you've ever said. I started playing it. Yeah, I played Commander before it was called Commander. In college. So it was a little after I started playing. Um, I've been playing for a while. I was playing back when Talarian Academy was still legal in your deck. Like you could actually play it. If that gives you an idea. It was before Raphaelos was banned. Alright, let's try again. I think it was even before Braids was banned. Braids? <clears throat> it's still legal to me. Hey, man. If your uh, group allows you to play Braids or Raphaelos as your commander, like, that's, you know, that's 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 between you guys. <clears throat> yeah, Commander 101 is just... It's kind of weird unless that's what you're into because it's not really designed for that. <clears throat> it was my first commander. Uh, my first commander was Arkham Dagson. Oh, you like Arkham Dagsons? You like Dagsons? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like Dagsons. It was way overpowered and I did that thing where I made my deck too good for... For your fucking for local play group? Format, yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, it was Arkham Daxon with the Telerian Academy. Do you really need to say anything Are else? you real? Fucking come on, dude. Get your life together. Get your head out of your ass. What commanders do you have right now? Uh, I have a CDC list put together, which is... I do not play EDH that frequently now. I don't play... I'm not a commander player. Uh, my CDC list is a dredge-based uh, combo value deck. Um, not super competitive, but... And then I have a Jota deck, which I powered down a lot to be more casual. And it's just basically, you know, cast a bunch of things for free. Try to get omniscience and play, that kind of thing. Trying to get what? What and play? Omniscience. Okay. You don't have to yell. I like my decks to be tuned, but not competitive. I'm also building a Zakama deck. Or you just try to cast the comma over and over again. It's a comma, 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 chameleon. It's my well, sweet. Lives in the sea. The salt I see, see. The one that you mill yourself when you attack or enter the battlefield. It's just a grind value with two twos, and then there's like one graveyard combo in it. Watch this. I'm going to play my other land. Nailed it. See it happen? I didn't forget that time. 
I didn't forget, Daddy. Wow. Papa. <clears throat> Papa, I remembered my land. A lot of people uh, don't respect Sakama because it's like, oh, it's nine mana. There's a dinosaur. It's okay, a dinosaur. You're playing dinosaur. Naya. <laughs> but, like, I'm you like, can bro. definitely build Naya to be competitive, for sure. I'm pretty sure you can build every every color combination as, as competitive. Do you know what they never see coming? Tell me. The red elemental blast. Wow. Got him. Hey, man, would you put hot sauce on your chicken nugs? Turns on the hot sauce. What if it's... You have to be like a flavored one. You're a flavored Not just like a fire one. I'm going to bounce this stupid thing. I don't play another land because it's going to be a hissing quaggles. Oh, is it still land? We still got primeval next turn. And if we draw land, we got battle sphere. Again, you got to play with a play group that's on your same power level or it's going to be awkward. We're coming good. You come and go. How are things in Mike B land? Pretty good. I'm still employed during this coronavirus, and it's we call it COVID nineteen now, Michael. I'm playing a lot of poker and doing pretty well at it. You know, you know, could be worse. Could be better. I could have a not messed up ankle. You could have a concussion. <laughs> How is that better? I don't know. <clears throat> There's no stipulation queue. We just. You donate for the stip and he puts it in the queue. So we'll definitely get to them all. We're doing them like every day. I mean, I have like three more if that's what you're asking. But Yeah, so like we're definitely going to get to yours if you want to do one. Yeah, I'll be crushing them. You got it. Shriek them all died. You're going to get my Badlands if too? If you take Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and mix in a splash of Dave's Insanity ghost pepper sauce, it makes a great sweet and spicy sauce for wings. I try that. Michael would try it. Oh, the ancestral seems good. Land, beautiful. Do 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 do. I'm a primeval titan. That's so weird. Do, 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 do. What? My poker chat is like, who's in for night at ten? And I'm like, why do you guys do it? At, it's like nine p.m. their time. It's like, why do you guys wait so long to ask if people want to play? Give people like less than an hour to yeah. show up. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's 9 p.m. Well, it's still, it's still only an yeah, hour. Yeah, it's 9.07. It's less than an hour. Yeah, that's weird. Do the Mario swing your hips from side to side. You know that song? You know the Mario song? <clears throat> the Mario song? Shut up. Who's the Mario? I am the Mario. Look at me. I am the Mario. Look at me. I am the Mario now. Swing Mike B's from side to side. Mmm. Mmm. Is Splinter Twin on on Battlesphere good? Am I good at Mario? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. I used to be really good at Super Mario Bros. 3. Wow. Fucking humble brags over here. I would try to speed run it. I need some food. I'm hung. My head's hurting. Me hungry. Me am hungry. Tommy need wingies. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna copy it. I get Real it. original, buddy. Hey, man. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, man. We can put Splinter Twin on that. I literally just. I, that's another thing I said out loud in the world. I appreciate you you giving me the ideas that I had before you repeated them to me. You're welcome. Thank you. Swing Michael B from side to side. Let's go to combat. Let's attack with this one. Seems good. This fat, <coughs> fat biscuit. I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a 10-7, good buddy. Okay, you got it. Got a Michael B. He lives in the sea. Or is he in a 
tree. I think he might be. I think they're just dead, right? Uh, they're like, let me get some info. Uh, okay, concede. I think they're dead. We have enough mirrors to just kill them, right? Yeah, well, we're going to make four more, so. Yes, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. It's like 12, more. dude. Yeah. It's a lot. Do they think I'm not going to do that? Okay. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm going to do it, right? <sighs> oh, also, Splinter Fawn Thrag Tusk is pretty nice. It's an option. I thought you were doing pig face. No, now you are. <laughs> you just wait, Michael. Bugglebee, what's he doing in that tree? Bugglebee, Bugglebee. I never name stiffs. It's just too. It's too much work. It's the 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 payoff is just not worth the the effort. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What is he naming stiff like? What does that even mean? Like what would this be called? Single like single set stiff. You know? Oh okay. Oh okay. I would call it... Oh, I hope they go turn three Coalition Relic and then I go turn three Dax Steal it. <laughs> That's all I want, I would dude. call it Rando McBando Stip. This is why you're not in charge of things. <laughs> oh, that was a good draw. Rando McBando. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Michael B come on over. What does the B in Michael B stand for? Whatever your heart desires. Biscuits. Oh, that's not... That's not ideal. Hmm. Well, you see, that's not a coalition relic at all. Hmm. Can Dak fade in Steel Oko? He can't. He can't. Dang it. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, boy. Out, am I? <laughs> I'm just going to plus this. Beauty. Let's get ready to go for the throat. And. Lightning bolts don't do anything for you. Yeah, I agree. Because you know. Oko is Joko. Because you know. Right of application should be in the cube. Uh, I don't think so. That's not strong enough for vintage cube. No, nah, that's true. Ain't nobody playing right or replication. Sure, you got my land. <sighs> yep. Would I leave it to the god step work in the cube? I start the draft and auto pick everything? Oh no, that'd be terrible. I don't think you would have a functional deck. <laughs> yeah, I think for the yeah, that does not sound that does not sound like good times, my friend. Bugglebee. Oh, yeah, that's nice. What about auto pick every other pick? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I guess we can get rid of Garrick. All right, so the things we're going to do, we're going to repeal this token. Draw a card. I had Indian food for the first time last night. Lamb, korma, basmati rice, and fried paneer cheese. It was delicious. Nice. Bro, you're living. You're living. I don't want to discard two cards. I gotta keep either Primeval or Garrick. I think it's Primeval. I also think get rid of Zealous Conscripts here. It feels terrible. I'll get rid of Pulse, I think. Doesn't no. Pulse kill Oko? Yes. I'll get rid of Forest. Can't repeal for one, right? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You gonna make it an elk? That's fine. Oh, we're gonna do something else. Mm. Sure. He ain't gonna make it an elk. So next time we can go Signet Maelstrom Pulse. Yep. Put it in play tapped. He ain't doing nothing. Michael B. He comes from another planet. Michael B. Michael B. Get that thing out of here. For the biscuit, right? It this, does win you the game. This guy's good on his own. We can like steal this and sack it. We just need another red. Alexa, where does Michael live? Michael be lives in the garbage can. He sure does. Glorburger is pretty good here. No, it's a second other permanent. That'd be sick, though. Um, I think we're just going to play Zealous Conscripts. They got something to do. Force of Will. what we take I'll take your food I'll take your food and I'll eat it too da -da -da -da. I'm gonna get it back unfortunately red source red source Red source, red oh biscuit. Mike B, are you still playing EDH sometimes with the same people that you started with? Nah. Nah. I don't believe in EDH with the same people. Nah, should we do a completely different thing? I don't believe it, I said. Okay. All my cards are creatures. I don't really care if I kill this idiot. I don't think we're gonna kiki jiki. I think we're just gonna Slam them. I'm just gonna slam them. Oh, wasteland, and I don't even have any non basics. Shoot, sucks to be you. <laughs> You're just gonna draw one. That does it, right? Uh huh. Oh, they got this thing though. That's sad. And that'll make it. Well, wait. They, they counter it. I was trying to think of Glorybringer, but it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. But you can at least force a counter off of it if you exert. What do I want to do that for? Oh, but yeah, but like. That doesn't seem exciting. Oh, they kind of have to start blocking pretty soon. Right, like I'll just tag on there again for seven. We can make it night by night. I'll just play this lady. Who's that a lady? Fauna lady. 
Thunderball's on the sideboard, right? Yeah. It's too bad. Oh, what do you get back here? Oko, huh? Okay. I mean, we still win with one red source, so. Kajiki Jiki. <laughs> Man, our graveyard is full. Kajiki Jiki. You gotta get a glory bringer here. Oh, he and Elk. This is a classic. With our That's a good idea, there. actually. Now, if he doesn't kill our Kijigigigi. Wait, did they mistap? Why would you use this instead of this? Oh my god. I mean, we're just going to play Kijigigi anyway. Come on. Our Gigi Gigi Gigi. <laughs> it's your boy. Why do they have free counter target creature spell? That's not a thing that exists in the world. But what if they did? Well, then they made up a card, and that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, wouldn't you be shocked? No, that that's no it would be counter spelled, not shock. <laughs> Dang. That was a got him. Okay, we won the game. We won the game! Gigi Gigi Gigi. If he doesn't kill our Gigi Gigi Gigi. <laughs> what are you saying there? Shut up and take my money. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, my God. What even happened? That's, that's a long a, boy. That's a long boy. Woo. Woo. Gigi Gigi Gigi. Oh, Kainohana. I'm back. Bant Value Town. M.O. Draft the best green, white, and blue cards. Value is the move. Uh, Moo is the move. Oracle Sunny Teat. Is the move? What are you saying right now? What's happening right now? You don't want me to translate it. Value is the move. Oracle, Sunny T, Teft, uh, Bird of Paradise, and Higher here based. Fixing OP power over stim. Set a most important stim. Enjoy the draw. Do what? Uh, what? 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 Kaido Hama, I really, Kaido Hama, I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, clarify some of these, some of these. Put it in the chat. Some of these specifics. In here? Yeah. I'm already... Okay. Bant Value Town Stip. That's Bird of Paradise. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it turned into Bop. Draft the best green, white, and blue cards. Value is the move. Okay. Just read a last... Oh, value is the move. Oh, just read what I said. Colloquial tech. <laughs> Oracle, <laughs> Sunny, T. See, that's funny. Sun Titan, Teferi. This hand's terrible. And Hierarchy. What's Hierarchy? Noble Hierarch, Michael. Oh. Our base, so base gods, okay. Okay, Fixing that's OP, C. Okay, C. Power no. over Stip, etc. Most important rule of Stip, you enjoy the draft. Thanks again, Frank. Okay. I love Bant, so we are in good shape. Okay, sweet. I love Bant. That's so much. Okay, so once I started reading it like, hey, just stop making a big deal. Look at this double red, double red keep. Yeah, I think you were trying to be too literal. I was. I, I definitely you was. keep up with the hit memes, man. But I got the memes. I just didn't know to read Dude, it that way. Oh, fuck. Have, we're going to have a meme test. <laughs> a meme test? Yeah. That's whack. <laughs> hey, you're doing good already. Oh, I'm making a big stretch. <sighs> Stretching those chicken nugs. No, dude, don't even worry about the type. The type was fine. I just had to I just had to figure it out. I just had to decode it. Troll Slayer. I said you too. You ever listen to you too? And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. They got some good songs. Yeah, all right. I don't hate them. They got some pretty mediocre songs too, though. Wow, Chrome Mox in the Green Sun for one. And a f wow, this is a this is a turn right here, boy. Wish I had a Red Source. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Red Source would be good. I love a Red if Source. If that's like an exit signet, an exit signet. That's where you exit. You're like, I'm out. Peace out, signet. I gotta exit. No, we gotta get food soon, man. Actually, no, we don't. If you're getting nugs, I'm getting pizza. We can actually not. Get what food. time does pizza close? Like ten something. What time do nugs close? Like ten something. God damn. I can look at McDonald's for you. I got nothing safe. here, man. I got Sweet. nothing here. Mm. 
McDonald's. It says open 24 hours. Get out of here. Oh, fiery confidence. I don't know if I trust that, but... I don't trust you, so, you know. Just put put them nugs on that pizza. Oh, put some McNugs on my deep dish pizza? Huh. I wonder. Michael, no. <laughs> I don't think that would actually be good. I am dead inside. Here, I'll just have and my And you're also dead on board. I am dead inside. I'm not dead not on board. Okay, what are you talking about? Dead. They got like four power. You might. You are dead on board because you're never going to cast anything and you're going to die. I'll kill you. Are you going to play it out? It's yeah. Funny. I get one red. I steal their chrome mox. And then I got another green. That's not going to be a play. But I mean, like, Lightning Bolt kills this and then Fire Confluence kills their whole board. So, I mean, as long as they don't do something crazy... Uh oh, something crazy incoming. Oh boy. Oh god, don't be primeval titan. Oh, what's happening? You gonna acidic slime? Is that what you want to do with your life? Oh boy. So long, Golgari Signet. Yep. See you uh, later. Can you concede? Can you shut up? <laughs> yep. Nah, that's the end. <laughs> I'm in danger. Well. That was something, all right. I was born in this vampire hex mage, but I don't like the double blacks, so I'm not going to do that. Good. It is good. Remember that time our opponent was like, good luck, and I didn't have good luck. I had actually... What did you take on the Watsi announcement regarding Planeswalker points and DCI? Oh, I know. I haven't talked about that at all. Um, It's fine. I mean, DCI numbers are like 25 years old, man. Like, they've, you've had DCI numbers since like 1994. So, like, getting rid of them really doesn't... It's, it's, it's good that they're updating the system, I'll be honest. Like, there's a lot of nostalgia... Uh, what are they doing now? I don't know. Oh, uh, you're like, you have to have a wizard's account and like, that's going to be connected to like your in-store events and stuff eventually. So come on, Leovold. One time Leovold. Leovold, 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 Leo, Leo. Well, I think more people are mad about the planes are voice thing too. Oh, Uncle Leo. Oh, fuck. Lightning Bolt is so bad. When your DCI number is older than your opponent. Got him. Did you? Who'd you get? Who'd you get, man? Yeah. Go back to your shanty. My shanty? Yeah. I'll shanty your face. You'll shanty my face. I think also more people are mad that they don't get to see their match history anymore because people find a lot of value in that. Right. That's what I think the biggest issue is. Which is just some way to preserve that. I don't think it's that hard, right? Oh, man. Is this the second? This is... Yeah. Okay. Well, at least you get to attack it. Oh, thank goodness gracious. And then attack it, and then attack it, and then attack it. And then keep attacking it. And you'll never kill it. And it will never die. Because that card is silly. You still have to attack it, though. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but keep attacking it. Skiba dee bop. Skiba dee boo ba doo 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 doo. I'm gonna play an extra land. There will be salt about any decision that Watsy makes. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't think the salt is unfounded for losing all your match history. Like, that's kind of a thing. Oh, write it down, man. Put it in your fucking journal. I don't personally. Dear care about diary, it. 
I played against Timmy Smith on June 2nd, 2001. Jimmy was playing a Goblin Bombardment deck against me, and I won 2-1. The only real player I've played against in a sanctioned event is Sam Black. Did you win? No. I beat Sam Black. Well, good for you. It was the first round of Pro Tour... Whatever the fucking Pro Tour was with Felidar Guardian in it. And Sahili Rai. Alright, they be channeling. Kaladesh. Nailed it. I've played against other pros not in a sanction event, though. I just want my opponent to go to two life. Go to two life. Go to... I guess it doesn't matter because they got a food. They're so tasty. Oh, man. Can you imagine if they go to two life here? I love the game, but Magic community likes nothing more than to get pissed off about things. Yeah, but, like, that's in all communities. And, like, Wizards has definitely made some terrible yeah, decisions. Yeah, it's definitely not exclusive to Magic. That's just, like, yeah. that's like, hey, you're passionate about this, so. Create a food. Okay. Like, you, you find Ooh. that in literally every community. This just nets the mana. That's wild. I'll take in what you're giving because you're working for a living. <laughs> oh, my God. If they go to seven, eight. Oh, God. Nine. Ten. Ulamog. Sure. Maybe I just notice it more with magic. Well, it also depends on what you're focusing on. Like, if you're only really focusing on magic, you might just not see it there. They right, sure. Star Wars is a great example. Yeah. Huh. You might as well ice. Well, I'm for sure going to float. Tap it and win. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. We can work at night by night. I don't know why they left this up. Oh, I guess because they got a green boy. Yep. Well, now we don't win. Not yet. Oh my god. We're one man away from that fucking... In oh, no, we're not! Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah! Finhorn Elves coming in the clutch! A -bew 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 -bew. Bring the glory. After losing against LSV, I never saw you play a big tournament again. Did you just got done with those kind of tournaments? I was always done with those kind of tournaments. I was never a pro tour player. I would go to a GP occasionally or like a uh, you know, PTQ, but like uh, I don't find a tremendous amount of value in playing competitively. It's just too stressful and it's exhausting. Yeah, playing a tournament is, is very much a grind. Yeah, like I would leave. I would be dehydrated. I would, I would be like malnourished. I would have a headache at the end of like major events like that. I'd much rather stay home, play a draft online, go get some food and a drink, come back, play another draft online. You know, like, it's just, it's so much more, it's more enjoyable to me. It is also a lot of money when you're traveling constantly, you're having to buy food every day, you're having to pay for entry fees, which went from, like, 30 bucks back in the day to, like, 75 bucks now, you know, like, it's wild. Yeah, and if you don't finish... Uh, they conceded with an Ulamog because I have a card called Glorybringer that has haste, and it is a 4-4 attacker, so... And they're at 4, so... So they die. Uh, also, like, your odds of actually winning a tournament are super low, even for... It's not high. ...well-known players. This hand's interesting. If we get a black, we get to Fallen Shinomi. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, it's not great, but... <laughs> oh, good gravy. They went, <gasps> they went to six. <gasps> I'd like a red and I'd like a black. So, Bloodstained Mire into Badlands. That's what we're talking about. I mean... 
what does Magic Pro mean other than you play the game for a living and you do that? So. I mean, I'm still a Magic Pro. I'm a, I'm a play. I'm a person who makes my professional living playing Magic: The Gathering. I'm still a Magic Pro, just because I don't play on the. On also, the, I mean, you do have in competitive events and you in do real have a Pro life. Tour top eight. You have GP yeah. top eights. Like you have finishes. Yeah, I don't consider myself not a pro. I, I like my income is literally like writing articles for Magic, getting sponsored by things that promote Magic, playing Magic on Twitch, uploading YouTube videos of Magic. And making ma like I mean it's it's definitely still a in every in every aspect of the word professional I'm still a magic oh good <sighs> love it is turning pro alone even a sustainable living no the reason I maybe for like three dudes like it's not it's only sustainable because you get sponsored then you start writing articles uh you get right it's the thing surrounding right it's the thing surrounding or you get on the MPL or finishes. whatever the magic pro league which i don't know if they do anymore they still do that right who knows uh, and then usually you can get picked up by other games as a game designer like there's a lot of you can build a career out of it but it's not really just winning strictly off of tournaments that's generally not how you make your living Kurt is sending me like messages in japanese because he's learning japanese oh good oh good i mean like what are you gonna do they get they're gonna get channel on us so i'll play ulamog again on turn three okay yo channel is a fun card it's it is not channel's a hell of a drug and i think channels uh more reasonable than indestructible is oh it's probably just as bad you know, it might be. Bitch, it might be. I guess they don't get the cash trigger. I wish I had a mana leak. Oh, I guess no, that would not. I wish I had a remand. That would be good. Yes. Are you Japan? <laughs> I am not. You know what, blank email? It sounded like you were questioning my professionalism, okay? And most, if not all, of the pros had another job anyways. Most of them play, paying pretty well, too. Yeah. I don't think Channel is one of the least fun cards in the queue. I think Channel is usually pretty fine. Like, I think things have to go well for Channel more than they have to go well for, like, other things. I definitely think Bribery is on the list, but... Oh, boy. Yep, that'll do. There's nothing we can draw here, right? Let's find out. No, definitely not. Is Mike do Japan? It. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank4, patreon.com slash frank4, manitraders.com, and cool stuff, Inc. Mike, thank you so much for the step, man. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately. You're welcome. What? Got him. Unfortunately, we ended up only one two, but I think one two is still fine. Um, when a lot of our choices were based on set inclusion. So sometimes it's a little trickier than you think. They could misclick. That's true. I'm not going to assume they do, though. But thank you guys so much for watching. Mike, really appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.